Hi, I'm Sue Greenwald. I'm with uh, AwakenStories.com, and I'm here today with King John Smarty and several other lovely ladies who are going to ask some questions about Smarty and his products. Hey, Smarty, how are you? Fantastic. What's up, ladies? Hi there, Smarty. Hi, Smarty. Yeah. Hi, yeah. Smarty. Hi, Smarty. Okay. I'd like to have everyone quickly introduce themselves so everyone knows who they are. Judy, do you want to start? Sure. Um, my name is Judy Quay, and I uh, have the Pyramid Healing Centers. I was given a vision and uh, years ago, and along with a dear friend of mine who was a, a healer in the UK, he's since passed over, but he had a, pure, a Pyramid Healing Center that he had created architectural plans for. And this was back in 2010, and I never thought I was going to be able to, to do it. He kind of bequeathed it to me, um, given that we had the same vision. And uh, so I'm really at this point going to run with it. And what I'd like to do is to create these pyramid healing centers all over the world. Gaynor has jumped on with me to do this. We're, we're just like this team of angels to just push this forward. And uh, so I have been sort of staying with family in, the, in Delaware. I'm originally from California. Um, I had to bail out of California in July of 2020, given everything going on. It was a little too dicey for me there. Right. So I, I'm holed up here waiting for everything to kick in and so that we can move this project forward and, and work with all you wonderful people. Right, right. Okay, yeah. how about you, Gaynor? Do you want to introduce yourself a little bit? Yeah, hi. Um, hi, Smarty. Um, I found you, Sue, when you put the beginner's guide to holograms with Noelle. Yes. And then you contacted me via a comment right. that I made. So right. thank you for that. Thank you for bringing us together. Right. And it's a right. ple pleasure to meet John. Um, so uh, where do I begin? I'll just try and break it into a brief, concise last three, four years, I suppose you could say, I started going down the rabbit hole before COVID. Um, I've always been interested in the spiritual uh, for years and years, decades, really. But then I came across um, Sasha Stone. I learned about um, the Secret Space Program, 2020 and back and more. Um, and then, and then, of course, when COVID hit March 2020, I knew it was a hoax. I knew something wasn't right. I knew something was untrue. And um, mm -hmm. me and my girls, we've never, ever worn masks. And, you know, I refused to put my, my little girl into school to think that masks, you know, with teachers wearing masks was normal and hand sanitizing and social distancing. No, 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 no. no. So, mm -hmm. yeah, it's just been a really interesting, at times exciting past two years I feel I'm getting more and more excited now because I feel that we're coming to the end of it all and that you know this mass awakening is, right. is coming for humanity right. and right. and as light workers our worlds get smaller and smaller and smaller and we get connected to people like yourselves and we just all come together and uh that's that's exciting for me excellent how about you Vanetta hi I'm Vanetta from uh Perth Western Australia and um, I went down the rabbit hole again in 2020, but I've always known as a child, uh, you know, I was always interested in UFOs and, uh, you know, all of this phenomenon about, you know, the galactics. And I knew there was something there and I could never put my finger in it. Always question everything. And uh, when um, all of this happened in 2020, I knew what was going on in I refused to believe the narrative and I just went down the rabbit hole and found Charlie Ward. And then he told us about, uh, you know, what we know today. And, uh, you know, I want to be a humanitarian and go around the world and heal everybody, but even help humanity to uh, get back their power and um, live in, in, in the truth. Excellent. Excellent. How about you, Jeannie? Okay, you can please call me Jenny. It's only Jenny. since I don't know Jenny. why the Jeannie really comes up yet. So that's right. my name. So, um, so my name is Jenny. Um, I'm an ex pop star, if you want to call it, if you want to label it that way. I've had hits in the 80s with a, a pop group, and I have also, in between that time, become a, a community champion. I first started working with a charity called Food for All 22 years ago. We feed 
we at that time we were feeding like 800 people a day and now we're feeding anything from 2000 to 5000 people every single day six days a week unfunded from the government we get most of our monies from the people that we actually love who love us and and and, and mainly the music business and uh, and then we go out and we have other people that really like what we do and then then we you know they do the, the we do the fundraising that way so we've also got we've also um, changed policy and not that I'm into the queen or anything, but for a charity, we actually um, went, uh, we got a queen's award for apparently going above and beyond. And then within one year, we had, we had fed a million people. Excellent. That one year. Excellent. So that's a reason to get an, an award. I'm, I'm not too much on the queen, but, the, but for a charity like that, it is fantastic. And again, like I say, we didn't get any funding. So I guess what my thing is, you know, for me, is to expand on that and um, and expand on it first in London and then make it make it available for everybody else, um, you know, throughout the whole of the UK. And then we, 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 we go on from there. But that is that one project in the charity. My other project is an extension from my book, because I'm also an author, which is called Surviving the Storm, How to Embrace Your Pain and Grow Through Adversity. And what I found out is there are an awful lot of people like myself who have come up, come from a, a, a troubled life. And um, I created, for some reason, uh, I created a self-help book. And, and so that is to help those people. And then what do you do when you write a book? You write a project. So this is the project. And this is the project that I want to be, you know, that I'm hoping is going to be the legacy of love to pass Excellent. on. Something Excellent. Excellent. All right. Well, thank you all for introducing yourself. Now, how about you, John Smarty? <laughs> Mendez. So why do we well, call you King John Smurdy? <laughs> well, first of all, first of all, I'm at the beginning and the end of the rabbit hole. Okay. Um, the reason why everyone calls me King John Smarty is because that's the title that was given to me by our creator, which is Source. Other people call him God. Um, I was made in a in a specific way to end all corruption and show the people how love can be broadcasted through, through frequencies. And this, this disguise, uh, I use this disguise to, to uh, pretty much, you know, um, uh, I'm able to communicate with everybody on multiple levels. You, you want to talk high class, we can talk high class. You want to talk ghetto, we can talk ghetto. I, I do it all. Um, I was born in Ponce, Puerto Rico. The day of my birth, uh, it was like lightning hit my mother's wound and the water changed colors, okay? That was what we call, what I know now as a light conception mixed with natural birth. This is the reason for my IQ being the levels it was as a child when I was um, tested in the Lancaster School District. It's all records. You can go look at it. Um, throughout my life, I realized that Nothing pretty much added up. Everything they were teaching me was being, was was old stuff. It just wasn't computing. Um, I didn't I didn't I couldn't read or write too good, and I know now why is because I'm telepathic, and I can read minds and I can do all types of things. So reading and writing was never my thing. Um, at the age of uh, fourteen. I went from fifth grade to sixth grade to seventh grade in two months. After I did that, I told my mother, sign me out of school. This is boring. This shit ain't for me. This is for somebody else, right, not me. Right. I left school, got a job. Uh, my first paycheck, I did what everybody else in my community was doing. I got some marijuana and I started selling it. And I sold it for the last 21 years until I went to jail for it. Okay. Wow. Um, that being said, throughout those 20 something years of me in the streets, I also had time to research and look at all the fantastic, cool things that are out there. I learned how to make organ. I learned how, about frequencies. I learned about in basically everything, currencies, stocks, bonds, government. I learned it all, especially the UFO phenomenon, the reptilian phenomenon, all the shit that every, that's out there, the healing modalities, like, like uh, Judy was saying, I learned it all, I know it all, I see it all. 
not only do I, the reason why I say that is because not only while, while I was researching this stuff, I was also having the visions because at the time I didn't know that I was remote viewing and astral traveling and literally being there at, while I'm researching all this stuff, okay? All of this developed, you know, on a, in a period of time where I know now without a shadow of a doubt what I am, why I'm here, and the, um, the purpose in my, in my life, okay? So that's why he, he told me I'm the king of it all. Uh, for instance, the pyramid Judy was just talking about, that's cool, it's fine and dandy. However, all of that is nothing but a frequency. I can <laughs> zoom in on that right. pyramid. I can zoom in on that pyramid, take the frequencies, and put them in a crystal, which is what I do. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So you can. She can have healing centers like that. It's not a problem because there will be a smorgasbord of healing modalities for people to heal. The ultimate goal is the everlasting body, which is what the crystalline chambers would do. And I've learned all this stuff through through communications with Source, him telling me what to do, me doing it, me validating for myself. So it doesn't matter what people say or think about me. That's irrelevant. No one, I, I don't like, I don't have to convince nobody of, of me. Uh, Daddy already convinced myself of what I am. Okay, there's only going to be one of me. Nobody else is going to be as powerful as me. That's 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 not happening. However, I will teach everybody my method, and everybody can use my method to proceed in what everybody wants to do. Because the ultimate goal is service to humanity, love and light. That's the most powerful force there is. All of my products are based on love frequencies. Powerful, powerful, powerful. And I got a kick-ass attitude where I can go tell you to go fuck yourself, excuse my French, <laughs> in a loving way. Because I don't, I don't play, I don't have time to play no games. You got these people out here stealing babies and doing all this dirt shit, okay? I'm not, I don't have time to sit here and worry about what somebody thinks of me. I got work to do. Right, right. Uh, thank, thank daddy, because I call God, source, daddy. Thank daddy, a lot of that is cleaned up. And more and more of us are coming together because the consciousness, because I, when I work on things, I work on it on an energetic level as a planetary body. I can go like this, boom, and hit the Schumann residence by myself. Those are my abilities. That's what I can do. I do it all the time. I proved it over and over again. And I'm saying that to say this, the entire planet is nothing but a frequency energetic place. When I'm given the okay, I hit the entire planet with the frequencies that raises the, the consciousness level, which also raises the love vibration, which also gets rid of the darkness. Do you understand? Yeah. So that's where, that's where we're at with it right now. That's literally where we're at with it. But in the meantime, I'm making cool little um, devices to help people in their past. And, and I'm loving every minute of it. I'm loving it. I'm right. loving it. Right. I know that many of these ladies are familiar with the holograms and we can talk about that as well. I wanted to uh, uh, talk about some of the things that are happening. Like one of the big questions they had was the difference between crystal and chambers and the med beds. Well, the, there's a very, very big difference. The, the, the difference is man made the med beds, okay? Daddy made the crystalline chambers, or should I say I did. Do you see any plugs on this? Do you? Do we have to plug this into a wall? No. Okay, you have to. You have to be wary of that. If if you're getting if you're getting ready to jump into something that's plugged into a wall, I mean, y'all seen the movie Fly, right? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh, days. Go on. Okay, okay. Yeah. Need, need I say more? No, no, you don't. Okay. Mm. That's the thing about the med beds in the chambers. They're not plugged into anything. They're literally a cylindrical chamber that you walk into. Your body will 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 literally change into the original creation that 
source God daddy made you out to be. Um, a lot of my crew members, I know what they look like in their natural form. And, you know, a lot of them are hurting right now. And daddy already promised them that they will get their golden boy status back. Okay. I call it galactic stud status. I'm looking forward to it. I was just having a conversation with daddy and my crew yesterday. And I'm like, this, is, this whole thing is just stressing me out. This is why I lost my hair. Daddy says, I know where it's at. <laughs> <laughs> so, so that just means that he's just, he's just telling me that I didn't lose my hair and I'm about to, you know, change, transform what, yeah. what they call shape shift into my original body, which is tall, you know, different, different colors, everything, right. different uh, right. eye colors, all that. So it's, it's, it's wild. It's going to be wild. It's going to be yeah. fun. A lot of the other Intel providers are like promoting that they're going to be the ones that create the med beds and all that. And uh, so they're doing it really by, we'll call it mechanical methods, um, using maybe crystals or whatever they're doing, but it's not going to have the same end result as the crystal in chambers. Right. Uh, right. So a, lot, a lot of them, a lot, hold on real quick. A lot of them are already existing in the secret space programs. I, I make the, speak, the secret space programs look like a walk in the park. Yeah. That, that was going to be my question, Smarty. So the, the ones where you're talking about where you plug them in, they were made by the secret space pro program by ma man. And right. these, these um, crystalline chambers, they're, they're made by off-worlders, right? No, they're my chambers. I made them. Mm. Now, here, I want you to understand how is this possible. You're talking about consciousness transfers, okay? Uh, my 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 original consciousness essence is on my ships. You understand what I'm trying to tell you? So they're they're my chambers. I made them, and they're 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 connected straight to source creator, just like the medical ones. I'm not sure if you ladies seen the testimonies or or you know, did some research on these things, but these things are making literal, literal miracles and wonders take place. Now, here's what, daddy, here's what daddy said about it. The reason why he wanted me to do these things is because he wants the people to see what I'm actually capable of. Because all it is, all this is, is just my own abilities where you don't have to contact me. You can just use this because it would do what I do naturally. You understand? Right, right. So the chambers no, will do the I'm, same thing. I'm not understanding completely, to be honest. Um, when you say you made the crystalline chambers and yeah. they're yeah. and and they're on the ships, can you just clarify that a bit more? I, I just said so. It's it's, <laughs> a, it's a it's a consciousness <laughs> ship. Do you understand what consciousness is? Uh, consciousness ship. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, it's a transfer. It's a transfer. So here's what's going to happen. I'm going to tell y'all what's going to happen. <laughs> uh, whether whether y'all believe it or not, I don't care. This is what's going to happen. My essence, my my soul, is it's, it's consciousness. My soul will leave this body at the same time my body travels with it, gets restored to my original body. I open up a portal and come in the earth. Everybody's already prepared for this. This is why I'm here doing it. I had to be born on earth so I can clean it in from the inside out. So if you, you ever seen a, a video or movie where there's teleportation going on, where the people actually dematerialize, disappear, and then end up somewhere else? Mm -hmm. Yeah. That's what's yeah. going to happen. That's what's going to happen. Okay. It's going to be, it's going to be like me falling asleep, going into a dream, waking up on my ship. And then possibly landing on the White House lawn. <laughs> That's what I want to do, but we'll see. We'll see, because you know, source is, is has the ultimate say. But in light of how long it's taken these so-called good guys to do things, I think I'll mm -hmm. have things my way. All right. Could you wipe out the White House for us, please? <laughs> it's, all, it's already it's already wiped out. <laughs> Good. I'm the I mean, so we don't have to see it anymore. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, we'll, we'll, 
I mean, we, we got massive equipment that the world is not even ready for, and we don't even care if they're ready for, to tell you the right. truth. Right. I got equipment that will come on in, scan an entire area, re-atomize it, and rebuild it within seconds. Right. Like, like the world is not ready for what King Smarty is about to do. Well, we are. <laughs> I know you guys are. You know, Daddy, yeah. Daddy said this. He said, he said the people will run to the churches. And and they will pray to him and me, <laughs> not knowing, not knowing that him or me are the ones doing the actual uh, masters, <laughs> masters unveiling. Um, and I say it that way because my essence, which is my consciousness, is is of Sanam the Galactic, which was also known as Jesus. This is what people don't they don't understand that it's nothing but energy. I did not say. Drink this cup and drink of my blood. Eat this bread and drink of my flesh. How satanic is that shit? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. I said, yeah. drink this cup and drink of my essence. What is essence? Energy. Yeah. Hello? Yeah. Can y'all see what's happening now? <laughs> this is going to be fun. Thank you, thank you for putting it into those terms. Because, right. you know, it, it, is, it has always been given to us in a very, very um, watered down sense. So you, right, you've right. become more graphic with it. So it's uh, more descriptive. So it's easier for us to understand. So that's right, great. Right. Yeah. yeah. Appreciate and, that. And yeah. yeah. You're welcome. And the thing about it is, is that he's literally given me all the words to say. Sometimes, not sometimes, but all the time, I watch my own, my own like shows and interviews because I'd be like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> you understand? That it's literally Daddy talking through me, with me. So, um, so you're you're a channel for for um, Divine Source. I'm I'm his representative. Yes, he calls me son, just like Jesus called God son. Period. It's literally, what it is. I mean, it don't matter what people say or think about it because Sue knows that everything I say gets validated all right. the time. Right. All the time. It's not mm -hmm. like I'm not fucking predicting the shit. I'm telling you what he's telling me to tell you because he's going to make it happen. And all you got to right. do is just sit back and watch. And and if you're like an ignorant person, I would suggest y'all to sit back and watch and just zip your fucking mouth. Excuse me. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, right. I've got, a, I've got a question. <laughs> Go ahead. <laughs> I've got a question. Uh, right. So, uh, Smarty, I was just wanting to know with the chambers, the crystalline chambers, if we wanted to heal ourselves or even get people to go and heal themselves, would the ships come down here to us to heal us or would we have to be transported to the ships? No. Uh, what's, what's going to happen is I have a thousand chambers. I will be in control of every single one of them and they will be put all around the world. And there's already a thousand, or should I say 90, I mean, uh, uh, 198 people, because I'll have two here. One, one will be in my house, the other one will be in the resort, and then the rest will be all around the world. So there's, there's hundreds of people that will receive these chambers and they'll get training on these chambers. So, there'll be one in your location nearby. Um, and, and if you're on here, you're probably one of them that gets to have it. Um, and this will supersede anything, like anything. And uh, when you do go into the chamber, you will be fully healed, not partially healed, not none of that. You're, you're going to receive what they call the crystalline body because that's the purpose of the chamber which is also the everlasting life that they talked about in the Bible. It, it's not going to be a thousand years of peace. It's going to be forever peace. Because if not, I'm fucking somebody up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, another question, sorry. So this will take just a couple of seconds and then yeah, we lose it's, it's, uh, our meat suits or we go into our crystalline uh, shapes. Yeah, you know, what 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 will happen is you'll get your new um, everlasting crystalline body. So uh, the best example I can give you is um, a caterpillar and butterfly, or uh, one of those um, 
one of those one of those bugs that sheds their skin and then becomes like you could literally see them transform into a new body. That's exactly what is happening. That's exactly what's going to happen to all of us. When that does take place, you will have all of your abilities and you'll have your consciousness fully restored so that you know, you remember all of your abilities. So if you're going to fly around and do all that stuff, you can do all that. You won't, you won't hurt yourself because your bodies will be indestructible like diamonds. Diamonds are the most hardest substance out there. Actually, there's something harder than that. He doesn't want me to talk about it yet, but what I got those frequencies too. <laughs> wow, sounds amazing! Sounds oh, amazing. Thank you for that. This so, is, it, mean, can, it can completely, get, it can completely what, reverse your aging in a matter of minutes too, like like the celestial chambers. You're, you're talking, you're talking about a whole new body. So it's from carbon based to crystalline, then, and it's yeah. and it's it's pretty much permanent until right. until further on down the line. So uh, recently he had me tell one of my crew members, uh, do not go into the chamber and request to be 25. And, and then, because what happens is if you request to be 25 and you're 25 and you wanna go back to like 35, it's not gonna be allowed. So you wanna go back to an age where you could probably get into the bars or not get carded or something like that. You know what I mean? <laughs> 40 years younger maybe exactly you can I mean you're going to get a whole new body but you don't want to look too young right Right. I mean if you look at if you look at some of the uh, Palladian videos and, and, and the um, Valiant Thor photos they look young but they don't look too young okay yeah yeah and th they're all real by the way okay mm -hmm. they're all real um, a lot of them they all know who I am uh, I had to remove some of them. Some of them got evaporated. Don't matter where they're at. I don't care. When I strike, it don't matter what planet, what dimension, or what rank you are. Because because if I'm coming after you, there's a reason for it. And if the if if source creator that created the entire universe gives me the okay, guess what happens to you? Bye bye. It's curtains. It's curtains. <laughs> bye bye. So this right. is this is what I've been doing to the reptilians. Um, on this planet, uh, the Dracos, the um, the vampires, the adrenochromers. I mean, we literally changed the frequencies to the adrenochrome so that when they consumed it, motherfuckers died. Okay, because I could do that. Hello. <laughs> right. Well, I have noticed that there's been a lot of like um, UFO presence, like more and more and more out there. Right? Yay! But. Mm -hmm. um, I have noticed there's not much talk about the reptilians anymore. Like it's kind of dwindled but, down. But that's because they're 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 pretty much eliminated. And the reason why you have the the presence of all of my ships because they are my ships is because we are literally days away from full disclosure. Um, the 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 powers mm -hmm. that um, the powers that were, and I mean both sides, good and bad. Um, the powers that were, they're all going to have to either follow orders or we're just going to take over everyone's device and I'm going to come on there and I'm going to be like, hey, hey what's up, y'all? Y'all know me? <laughs> <laughs> this is what's going to happen. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be, it's going to be wild. Like, I'm, could, that, I'm preparing. could that happen like, like next week? <laughs> could we wrap hey, this it, up? <laughs> if it was up to me, it would have happened like last year. But it's not up to me. Um, Daddy says, he told me like four years ago to allow the process. And I have to admit, by me allowing the process, I'm more and more knowledgeable. I see more things happening. I see why we didn't receive funding when we did. Because we probably would have messed it all up. And we don't want that. <laughs> right? right? We would have done something so wrong. So what I do see happening for everyone and this is evident everywhere. I do see happening for everyone that we are being more and more connected to him, yes. to our creator, to daddy, to God, source, whatever you want to call it. I call him daddy. I agree, I agree with that. Yeah. I call him daddy. He calls me son. Okay. When we're joking on the phone, I'll be like, I don't care what daddy says about you. And daddy's like, same to you, my son. And then he starts laughing <laughs> because he makes this voice up that he don't have to make up. 
Because a lot of people think he's in the clouds with this deep ass voice. And then we just start cracking up because me and my crew hear this shit at the same time. <laughs> <laughs> this, is, this is this is wild stuff. Like people, I don't I see why people don't um, believe it hundred <laughs> percent. But if you if you take if you take the time out and do the research and learn my simple method that I don't even charge for, you'll see that you can reproduce what I'm teaching you and you'll just be like, holy shit, let's go, let's go. Because it's very exciting. When you, when you, when you learn the simple method and it's real simple, as long as you got a heart, love, you can do it. When you start doing that and you start seeing the results, you're like, oh shit. Let's go. Let's clean this stuff up. That's the end go. Because we have a lot of work to do. I know I heard you guys. You guys all have different programs and different things you want to do. There's a lot more of us out there that want to do similar. Okay. So what we're going to do is we're going to, me and my crew are going to back all you guys up so that we can have a smorgasbord of healing, fun, parties, celebrations, all that. That's what that's literally what I'm doing. That what we are doing. Yay. <laughs> and, and I'm nice. not, I don't hide from nobody. Like people text me all day long, some good, some bad. When it when they're when it's a bad person, I'll just hit them with frequencies, <laughs> fuck their day up. You know what I mean? I mean it's not a problem. They don't they don't realize what they're mm -hmm. dealing with. And I'm I'm just cracking up like hey you sucker, I got you. <laughs> 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 That's what I do all day long. I don't yeah, do nothing else, yeah. but all day long this stuff. It's like, okay, come on, let's go. You wanna, you wanna rumble? Let's go. <laughs> That's it's awesome. It's awesome. All right, I'm, I'm gonna stop talking. I'll answer some questions. Go ahead. Any question goes. Hey, oh, nice. let, let me open it. Let me start. Let me. I want to ask you. Um, there were supposed to be 6,000 patents from Tesla being dropped onto the earth. What do you think about that? Um, I, think they're, I think they're obsolete at this point, all, all 6,000 patents in the patent office. Um, and the reason why I know that they're obsolete is because Daddy said since they wanted to suppress humanity the way they did for all this time, we're just going to open up these portals and bring in all the good shit. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, I love that. Which mm -hmm. is why, which is why I, I, he had me do the cubes. If you haven't seen what the cubes do, there's plenty. There's a couple of videos out there. You're talking about a pure, true, a pure, mm -hmm. true connection with Creator, where he, where you know, miracles and wonders. Uh, miracles are things that you can't explain, and then you're wondering about it. So that's what these cubes are going to do. When, when when they're fully activated, and they will be, they're going to do exactly what I said they were going to do. And, you know, when, when, when people start seeing that, it's going to be like, whoa, this is wild. This is wild. Well, first, first, we're going to heal everybody up. You know, there will be a lot of people that will come here to Destin to meet me and uh, be in the front line. You know, it, it's, it's, it's so, 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 like, I don't, there shouldn't be no one that's depressed right now, knowing what they know, especially when they come in contact with me. They, I just, I just, I just have got so much energy and so much love that people are like, "Oh, let's go, let's go, let's rock and roll." <laughs> so we don't, we don't need all those old patents. We're going to have top of the line stuff, stuff that you'll be able to use with your telepathic communications to actual devices. They, it's, it's similar to like. Um, um, Alexa, when you want to look up something and all that. However, this is this will be on a whole nother level where you know you don't even have to talk; you can just think. That's where we're going. That'd be great. Right. Can I? Sorry, so, so somebody else want to ask the question? No. Yeah. yeah so, so how long away is this timing-wise? How long away for, um, it, for it, all it, this? It, you know, for the, in the next year, or it's going to take two it's, years. It's, or? It's, it's already happening, and I if I. I'm give. I, I suggest you stop thinking about it that way, because okay. what's going to happen is you're going to keep disappointing yourself. Um, so forget about the timing. Allow the process. Realize that Daddy is here with us all. Realize mm -hmm. that I'm here with y'all, fixing shit behind the scenes, 
and allow the process. You're not going nowhere. Um, and I say that because you've all, we've already passed the point where, um, you know, those of those of you guys of the light are pretty much stuck with me on this planet. So congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, can I ask a question? Better than a reptilian. <laughs> so, uh, You'd be surprised because there are some good ones out there. I know, uh, I know. Go ahead, go ahead. Yeah. So can I ask a question, sorry, uh, about the cubes? So uh, I did, uh, I've been following you really closely, uh, Smarty, and um, I was looking at the cubes. I've ordered some stuff, which I'm waiting for. Uh, and should be a couple of weeks till I get my uh, wand and other stuff. But uh, uh, in regards to the cubes, uh, you know, the different sizes now, it's best to buy the biggest one, is it? If, if you want to power an entire neighborhood, yeah. But if you want to just take care of your house and, you know, you don't have to do all that. Um, but they will, they will be like, right now, right now, it's, it's a steal. Because once once the wealth transfer takes place, I'm going to boost the prices back where you see them at. And they're going to be super expensive only because of the jobs that they're going to create. You, you, you hear what I'm saying? So yes. right now, it's a steal to get them. Uh, once you once once everything is takes place, you got you guys will be the first ones to be like, I got one. <laughs> you know <what> I mean? <laughs> <laughs> and here's another thing. My, those products like the cubes and the crystalline chambers and the charms, it's like these things will constantly, constantly be updated, upgraded, and you don't have to purchase them again unless something happens to it, somebody steals it, or you just want another model, a newer model. That's it. These things are permanent. You don't have to plug them into a wall, recharge batteries, none of that shit. So do we get to uh, own the, the yellow ones as well? Or are they special? No, the, ye oh. the yellow ones are special. Down, down the line, we got some other things planned for them. Um, so I'll, I'll just keep it at that for now. But a couple people did get them. Uh, some got them uh, so, so, we can, um, uh, so we can put energy fields in certain areas. And some got them just so I can keep tabs on them. <laughs> <laughs> Question for you, Smarty. Uh, what about what about animals? Same they... same thing with animals. Their their consciousness. They they can they can. Some of the animals will will reform into different beings that they used to be. Um, and, and I say that because I know for a fact that there will be unicorns here on Earth, Ooh. and mm. the unicorns will. They're only for a specific group of people. And no one else will have them but us, especially my children. Whoa. If we were to, if we were to meet you down in Florida next month, uh, you know, could would there be a possibility of getting onto a chamber? Uh, that's very much possible. However, I don't have control of that. Okay. Um, uh, I will have control of it after I receive the chamber. I nothing till nothing till then. Gotcha. Yeah. I have a friend whose dog is dying and he wanted me to inquire. I don't need a chamber for that. All I do is done and that's it, done. So if he were to you, come you, and you, visit he don't you even have something? to do it. He don't even have to do it. It's already done. Just post the testimonies. <clears throat> <laughs> okay. okay. Yeah. All right. That's, that, that's exactly how it is. I mean, so, who knows? We've been, yeah. we've been together for years. So I, I think what's happening, though, is people, especially in the spiritual or holistic genre, we have the way we were taught. We have an older way of thinking, which is much broader than the mainstream person, right? But we have the way we think it's going to happen. We have to discard that. This is going to be all new, never done before. We can't wow, even stuff. imagine, right? Wow, wow <laughs> stuff. Wow, yeah. stuff. Yeah. Like, 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 think about everything that you want times a million i got goosebumps right now i don't know about y'all yeah, y yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be awesome yeah it's gonna be awesome it's gonna be awesome that's why i say like you guys don't worry about nothing just continue your work allow the process once you get it in your in your head that you you're not waiting no more you're allowing the process then you can actually 
do what you love to do while other things take place for us behind the scenes. Right. Okay. Because once you start, once you program your mind to, to understand that, and, and that's where faith comes in also. Okay. Mm -hmm. Your, your faith comes in, in that same process because your faith allows you to receive. When you allow the process, you're doing it faithfully. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. Like all of this is connected to God, to creator, to daddy. And, and, and it's not, you know, the Bible has a lot of truth in it, but there's also bullshit, which is mm -hmm. why I'm here. And I'm, I'm telling you guys in a way where it don't matter what level of um, education you got. It don't matter where y'all at. I'm saying it in a way where everybody understands it. Simple. And I'm keeping this shit so simple that I use the I use the pendulums to show the people that it actually works, it's actually real. Using the pendulum also removes your doubt that you can do this stuff. Simple. So simple, so simple. All these other groups, they want you to sit in Indian style, wait for somebody to come kick you in the back or some shit. I don't know. <laughs> they said they said, uh, do you do you meditate? What for? I talk straight to him. Do you eat? Do you change your your diets? No, I eat whatever I want. Do you do this? Do you do that? No, 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 no. What? Come on, get get with the program. It's that simple. <laughs> and then here's the here's the crazy part about it. It's actually fun when you do reconnect because we're all. I, I shouldn't say well when you fully connect to Daddy because we're all part of Daddy. Daddy made us all. Okay. When you fully connect to him, where you're having conversations with him, he's going to say things that you wouldn't even believe it was him. Okay? Like really wild stuff. And he, you'll just be laughing and like, did you just say that? He'll say yes. <laughs> <laughs> He'll say yes. He'll say yes. He was, he's taunting me about, about my, my kids, right? He's like, they're going to drive you nuts like you drive them nuts. <laughs> I, said, I said to him, and me and my second in command were on the phone. I said to him, I said, well, I'm going to disown them. Daddy says, I tried that. <laughs> <laughs> this is wild stuff. Wild stuff. This is unbelievable, true stuff. You guys can check it with your muscle testing, pendulums. No matter what method you use, it's all going to be true. Hands down. Yeah. All right. All right. What else? Who's next? <laughs> I love this shit, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> can Can you go back to the the plugging in of the med beds? Uh, so, are you say, what do you think about the med beds apart from the fact you plug them in and everything else? Do will they do anything that the celestial chambers does? Um. Well, you're talking about med beds and celestial chambers. I don't, I don't, those are two different things. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The, the med beds are pretty much like the fly equipment. It's, it's, yeah. it's a, it's a device plugged up to a computer. Let's say you're in the chamber or you're in the, not the chamber. If you're in the bed and somebody spills coffee on that device, what's going to happen to you? I, I I just I just personally you turn into a cup of coffee. <laughs> right, right, right. I mean, I mean, uh, personally, me being who I am, I wouldn't touch nobody else's stuff only because I know for a simple fact that my stuff is pure. I do know that people will go into these chambers and will not receive what they are expected to receive, paid a lot of money, and then have to come over to the source directive side and go into a chamber that won't even be paid for. I also know that not a lot of people will do it because they're going to be freaked out about the shit. It don't matter to me. I do, I, you know, and I'm saying it because this is what daddy tells me. He's telling he, everything I told you guys is what he tells me. Uh, the crystalline chambers are also um, devices that the secret space program use. And it's the same concept, the same deal. You got a platform. I mean, you got a you got a crystalline chamber. I mean, a celestial same chamber because there's different things. 
that you walk into it and somebody hits the button or pulls a lever and then light comes up, blah, blah, blah. And then who knows what the hell is going to happen to you? Well, I've, I've heard all types of stories. I really don't even pay, pay it no mind because we got the most advanced stuff on the planet. You're talking about, again, a crystalline chamber that you walk into it and your creator controls it. <laughs> you, can't, you can't get no better than that. Ever. Like, ever, ever. Also, yeah. also, the, the med beds and the crystalline chambers cannot bring people back from the dead. We can. Okay. How, how do you do that when their bodies are buried or, or they're, they're into their ashes? You retrieve their soul somehow? Consciousness, yes. You pull okay. their consciousness, you put it in the device, lights, lights pop up and they walk right out. Yes. It's that simple. Daddy With their new body. Slip in. With their new body, yes. Yeah. Daddy can uh -huh. revive anyone, anywhere, whenever he wants to. He just so did we, it yesterday, here. Really? So we, if we just had somebody that just passed away, a loved one or something, how, how would you, would you just call their spirit in, their name? How would you go about that? Well, I, I, would, I would do it just, just the way I showed you. I'll just snatch their ass up, throw them in the chamber. <laughs> God, I would love it if you could do said that for my friend Marvin, who just didn't want to have to leave, and he had to leave, you know. And I'm, and we kept saying, no, we we really believe you're supposed to be here. You're supposed to be here. And he said, I do too. And he, but he 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 couldn't hold on any longer. He had cancer. It was just well, terrible. Well, you, you know that he just that's passed that's last month, and I, I, you know, it's like God, if you could. If there be a way to bring him in, because he was going to partner with us all in these uh, centers, do that all this great stuff. That, that does not mean that he will still not partner with you with these centers. Well, also, in spirit, also, yeah. No, I'm talking about coming back in the flesh. But here's the thing: if he's gone right now, that's because he was supposed to, no matter what y'all believe. Yeah, that's I know. That's what we we did. I agree. I agree. Right, right. Like I, yeah. I, I, I speak bluntly, and I, you know, I some some people call me savage or whatever it is, but I, I keep it real. If 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 we lose people now before these events take place, they wasn't supposed to be here. So get right. over the shit. Right. Get over it. Move on. Yeah. Because we're we're literally days away from all these stuff happening, where they will walk back in. I, I lost my mother last year. Mm -hmm. And she was what I thought was going to be the first ones that I put through the chamber to heal a new body, right? Turns out she's going to be the first one I bring back now, okay? Wow. So I'm, I'm excited about it. Yeah, I also know yeah, she's going to have a beautiful house, and she's going to plant garden and vegetables and all that. And I'll be popping in, you know, dimensionally, portals, teleportation. Hey, I can't I can get some peppers, <laughs> and then leave. <laughs> <laughs> well, Once know, you're I, <laughs> yeah yeah exactly so i'm i'm literally we we are literally preparing everybody for it and they're censoring me so much the good and the you know the good the bad and the good side that we're getting to a point where i'm going to start buying up all of these platforms because daddy already said so what are you going to do then when i own everything Everything, everything will be straight up truth across the board. No more bullshitting, no more lally gagging, no more none of it, because we'll have full control of what the people hear, see, and all the other fun stuff. That's what we all want, right or wrong. Right. Yes. right. Yes. Amen. Not, Amen. To mention, not to mention the most important part of it all. The love vibration on the planet will literally, they won't be able to stand on this earth no more. That's why a lot of them are all dead. Because of the energies are so high right now. Like if you want, if you want to see a cabal member uh, um, you know, expire, keep putting heavy love and light blankets around them. Okay, because they, they can't they'll handle go that. Crazy. Yeah, yeah, they'll go crazy. They will go I have, a, they will go I have another right. question for you yeah. about uh, the chambers and whatnot, um, because as they were all saying that the med beds and, and this just really felt intuitively like such a God thing that in order to be healed, you would not have to afford to be healed, but that right. you would be 
automatically healed everybody on the planet for free. So how does that um, come into play with the crystalline chambers? Is there a price? I mean, because there are so many people out there that, that don't have the funds well, for something well, like that. How, it, how do you handle that? Okay. You just, you just answered your own question. You hear you just heal yourself so you don't have to get on the crystalline? No, Chamber? they'll be they'll be they'll be given to for free. And okay. that's why I was trying to say in the beginning, okay. there's a thousand of them. People will receive training, and those that are trained to use them will do it for free. I mean, you can all you can always donate to me. I ain't gonna say no. <laughs> <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> it pays but to have now, a sense of humor. Well, you know, you know some, some individuals will be transformed by me personally because daddy wants me to make examples out of people and I he'll just choose. Actually, he already chose. I'll just go, hey, what's up? How? Like that. But the rest of you guys can take the chamber because I'm busy. I'm going to go sit some <laughs> pina colada somewhere. That's what, that's okay. We, that, that, you know, if the chamber fits there for us, then, you know, we certainly wouldn't turn it away. Right, right. Well, we're, we're going to have events, too, where people are going to come to events, you know, get healed up, enjoy music. We'll bring Michael Jackson and people like that back. It's going to be wild. It's going to be fun. Gonna and be we're, we're doing a lot of it here in Destin. This is why I'm here. The portals, uh -huh. are, the portals are already open. We're just waiting for the approval to bring the chambers in and drop them off. Um, Smarty, so the portals are open. Doesn't that mean to say dark entities can come through as well? No, because I put a field on the portal. Okay. And plus, plus, we have full control of my portals. There's angelics on each side of the portals. Not to mention, I'm always checking up on things. The angelics, galactics, they all work for me. Um, a lot of them, it don't matter what type of being it is, I can... Take them out. Don't matter. That's this is the truth. This is a lot of things. There's a lot of things that I say that are really like red pills, like super red pills. This guy just said he could take angels out. Yes, I can. That's the dark angels, of course. <laughs> anyone, anyone. It don't matter. But that's that's the. You don't want to take power. the good ones out. Well, if they're not doing if they're not doing what they're what they're supposed to be doing, or if they, they if they, you know, go to the other side, I mean, eventually, you know, you get you get. For instance, if you get if I get approval to remove a, a, a being because angels are nothing but beings of light, right? Right. But if I get approval approval to remove one of them, it's curtains. That's why I would say to everybody, if if um. If daddy forgives you for what you've done, I cannot do nothing to you. So that's also in the Bible. Repent or whatever you want to call it, then I won't come after you. Because, you know, that's my job. My job is to clean house, get rid of them all, whether it's tear them apart piece by piece, evaporation, um, teleport them over here, over there. Um, and, and, and that's it. That's it. That's my job. Some of it, some of it's not pretty, uh, especially when I started going in and out the, in and out the portals, um, in these chambers where they were molesting and eating children. Okay. Mm. I tore them apart, like literally tore them apart. Mm. I, 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 it was so gruesome that I thought I was in trouble afterwards. I asked daddy about it. He says, that's your job. I says, ooh, okay. <laughs> I got excited after that, just so you know, because I know that what I'm doing is correct, is right. It's, yeah. it's the right thing to do for the humans, for, the, for our people, uh, for our species, for our beings. And those entities taking advantage of us is fucking over. Excuse my French. So, so Smarty, what's the status of the dumbs? Like, what's the real status of the dumbs in the tunnels and the trafficking well, centers? 
Right. Well, the, the, the trafficking and all that is pretty much is, is, is done. Uh, all of the bases are taken over. We actually got equipment in all of them. We took over the secret space program. We took over the bases. We took over everything. That's the, that's the reason why you see all of our ships in the skies, okay? The reason why we're, we're doing little disclosure here and there is because the military and certain groups want to do a soft disclosure. So while they're running around doing their little soft disclosure, they're also shitting bricks because you got balls of light, okay, ships popping up everywhere, and they don't even know what the hell to do. So, and they also listen to all my conversations, so they know. We <laughs> took we took over everything, everything, every little thing. All right. Mm -hmm. So, so how can the average person expand their consciousness and, and release their limitations and what can they do to help? Well, first of all, they have to release their limitations and realize that, you know, God, daddy is in control. He's in control of your life too. I mean, he did, he did give you free will, all of y'all, everybody. He gave mm -hmm. everybody free will. He also gave y'all source directors, okay? There's a big difference. I teach source directives, okay? What source directives is, is your connection to your creator and doing what he wants you to do. First, you have to reinforce that connection, bond with him. Then, and only then, will you be able to go on the path that he created for you. It, that's it's. it's it's called God's plan, right? But we have a we have a more advanced saying, which is source directives. They only call God God here on earth. They don't call him God out there. You understand? Mm -hmm. And you have free will. Free will is when is when you wake up and you think you got control of your whole life. You do whatever <laughs> the hell you want to do, and things don't go your way. That's free will. You think they're going your way, and then something messes up. Then you're praying to him, and he's like, well, I told you not to do that. <laughs> you understand? So mm -hmm. you, you do have free will, or you got source directors. If I was everybody, I would want to do their source directors. And a lot, a lot of y'all are already doing that, because y'all humanitarians, y'all helping, y'all doing your part. You want to do so much more. That's literally a source directive. Um, my, my source directives is to do what I've already done, do what I continue to do, and teach everybody that wants to learn my simple method and reproduce what I'm doing. Because you can take my method and you can, you can um, um, integrate it in your own stuff, and then you'll see that you'll have more um, capabilities with it all. Because that's at the end of the day, that's where we're going. Everybody's going to be on the same page. Um, things are going to be better than, than we all expected, including myself. And I'm, I'm excited, very excited. In the meantime, I'm doing my part to, to also heal the people. Those holograms that everybody's downloading around the world took me time, energy, downloading, all that stuff. And I do it for free. That's for free. The only thing I the only thing I, I, I get paid for is the actual products, which are cool looking products, by the way, right? I don't charge for the method, the holograms, nothing. If you text me and want to want a healing like I just did on that dog, I'm not charging for it. That's my source directors. Pow, done. So I, I live off of my my cool little gadgets that do exactly what I say they do too. Mm -hmm. So nobody has to pay me for nothing. I do appreciate all of all of the people ordering my stuff, but at the end of the day, that's not what it's about. Because like like she was asking about the chambers, they will be for free. They're already built. They're ready to go. We're just waiting on source approval. Good to hear. Good to hear. And that's why I say everybody should be excited. And everybody's going to listen to these, these videos and be like, yes, let's go. And what, what, what's happening is every so many months or years, more and more people are joining, more and more people are learning the method. And it's like people are literally crying because they found us. 
and yeah. and we don't we don't charge for we don't charge we don't you know we don't charge to help people out the holograms are free um the money that i make also goes back into products you know all of this stuff costs money i wish i could do it for free nobody's fucking helping me these government officials and all these assholes you know they're not helping me trump and his crew they're not helping me none of them you understand you want you want transparency how about you come help me matter of fact fuck y'all don't help me <laughs> no <laughs> what about what about the uh, the crystalline chamber for the uh, you know the thing the thing in the arm i mean what yeah, trans it works that, for everything that's, that's, everything that, that's, yeah that's not even a thing that's not a thing to me cuz i go boom and it's gone your whole Poof, body and, it's not, and so your dna it just completely uh, reatomizes your dna just by me going like that, boom, yeah. King. Okay. Yeah. There's a matter of fact, there's a free hologram that's called um um uh, um the jab remover or some shit, right? Oh yeah, yeah. Well well, all you do is you, you print it out like so, you do like so, you do like so and so, right? <laughs> <laughs> And you just drink out of the glass with that sticker on it, and presto, right? And you're cured. Yes. Wow. Any, okay. If anybody right. tells well, you different, if anybody tells you different, tell them to come see me. Okay. So is that on your website? That the the, uh, the jabber doodle thing. Everything is on. It's either on my website or Bubble Up. Uh, Bubble, Bubble Up. up is, right. Yeah, Bubble Up is on. Is also in the Source Directive group. Everything's there. Just, just okay. take everybody. This is for everybody, not for you, not for just y'all. Everybody, take your time. Go look at the free stuff. I got requests for all types of stuff that I've already made years ago. So go in there and go look for it. Yeah. So, so you just take a sticker, yeah. one yes. of those stickers, put on your glass, and then whatever, and then you drink down whatever's in the glass, and just because of the vibration of that sticker, right? That it, that it connects with your brain and your brain completely reatomizes the problem. Right. It's, okay, it's, gotcha. a, it's a okay. And it only takes one time, right? You just, that one time to kind of bring those frequencies back into your body. It, it all depends on what it is. Like diseases and stuff like that is one mm -hmm. shot. If it's like yeah. broken bones, ligaments, keep drinking. It'll, it'll be fixed. You're nothing but energy anyway. I right. designed I designed my stuff in such a way where it's liter it will literally repair your body. And this okay. is this is just to get everybody prepared for what's coming, which is the chambers. Yeah. Now, if you needed surgery for something that you you know you didn't want to go to Western medicine because we know what that's all about. You don't want to end up ever in a hospital. Um, but you had some kind of surgery that you needed to have done. Um, rather than wait for a chamber, could you do it through a hologram and just have it corrected? I mean, say if you had like a hernia of some kind, what what would you do for that? Just as a hologram, or would you need to wait for a celestial? I mean, a uh, crystalline chamber. Well, you can you can use the answer is no. You don't have to wait. You can use holograms, or you can use the Jedi's. There's a group called Healings and Requests. Mm -hmm. The Jedi's. I've taught them to be able to see what the problem is. Psychic okay. surgery. Exactly. Exactly. Uh -huh. out, we'll remove it. <laughs> done. Okay. It's done by I, I've frequency. Done, that's it's done right. By I've, done it, I've yeah. done it thousands and thousands of times. I've healed people, brought them back from the dead. If you need a new heart, I go in. Take your heart, boom, 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 send it up, grab a new one, put it back. Linda, uh, um, what was it? Linda Morton Howe, or whatever her name is. She, she, did, she did investigations on these cattle, okay? Now, these cattle had missing body parts. Inside body parts were missing with mm. no surgical, no surgical um, evidence, right? Incision, incisions, yeah. So, so what happened? Exactly what I just explained. They went in energetically because we're nothing but energy. They went in energetically, took the organs so that they can 
make their little alien babies. That's what the fuck happened. Now, I, I put an end to that too, so don't worry. Um, so what we do, what we do is we do the same thing. No matter what it is, we'll move in, grab a heart, replace it, grab a kidney, replace it. Tumor is gone, just like that. Because what I think, what what happens is when you learn the method, you get stronger and stronger, and your abilities start enhancing, and then you start to see everything, and you're like, oh, oh shit. This is real. <laughs> so how do you how do you get a hold of the, really the Jedi? Sorry to interrupt. Guys, I'm really sorry to interrupt, but I need to go now because of my childcare. So I just want to say thank you so, so much, thank Smarty. You. Thank you. I'm You're very, welcome. very grateful. Thank you, Sue. Thank and, you. Um, I'll see you all. I'll see you all again. Okay. Take, take right. care. Have a good one. Yeah, thank thanks. you very much. Thank you. Bye-bye. 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 Yep. My question but, but, is how how do we res- how do we get a hold of uh, the Jedi? Pete? I mean, are there are these this team of yours called the Jedi? How do we get in touch with them if we need further assistance that way? There, there's a uh, um, there's the telegrams. Everybody's in Telegram. Um, Sue will post that. I'm sure she posts it all the time. Uh, okay. But they'll be they'll be in the bottom of this video. It's a Telegram group. It's called right. Source Directives. Right. You come in. Once you go in there, you'll get links to all the other groups. Plus, um, my own telegram is King John Smarty. I post the links in there too. So we're not we're not hard to find. The problem is people don't even realize we're here mm-hmm. because of all the censoring. Yeah. Okay. Which is why which is why our ships are popping up everywhere because I'm tired of the ship. Right. I want to get yes, past right. it. We do too. I know, I know. <laughs> We're with you. But, but but at the same time, you gotta allow the process because you don't want to stress yourself out. I, I I've been there. You know, yeah. it's hard to happen to, to deal with what I'm dealing with and also know that it's a process because I want it done like yesterday. Yeah. And, and I'm the fastest, I'm literally the fastest one on earth. I'm 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 actually the fastest one in the entire universe. So imagine having to imagine being the most fastest thing that your that creator created, and you still have to wait to do things. That's what I'm at. <laughs> is this it? Is this spiritual law? Is is that is that part of it? And free will connected those two things yeah. that make it a slower time and manifesting. Yeah. yeah, yeah, that does have a that does have a role in it. But there yeah. are some things there are some things that. Um, Daddy will give me the approval for, for for mm-hmm. instance, the cabal having free will, and that's why they did what they did. Right. And their time is up, which is why now I can do what I can do. Yes. Um, however, what's happening now is that we're taking people left and right that the that the good guy and the cabal can't even ke- can't even keep up. That's why you see so many different people looking so differently because we're taking them all. Yeah. Biden, Biden is like he's been taking a bunch of times. They got to replace him real quick. Well, yeah. His his battery's running low. <laughs> that, that's a whole bunch of bullshit. There, I don't even, I'm not even gonna get into. What it, is but, that anyway? You, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> that that right now is some it's somebody with a mask. That's all it is right now. But yeah, what's happening is we are literally taking the individuals and we're. If if they don't get evaporated, we're taking them to the ships for holding, because not only do they have to face trial here, there's also trial going on elsewhere, and the end result to some of these beings is their soul. Because once once I get to take your soul, you're done, done, like done. So that's the end result for them. Hmm. The thing about it is also is that. We can't just do it to everybody across the board. He's giving them chances. Okay. They all know I'm here. I'm open with it. I'm telling y'all what the fuck I'm doing to y'all. Okay. <laughs> and I'm giving y'all chances and they're not taking it serious. They are right. They are right now, but two years ago, they weren't taking it serious. Right now they are. Right now they're like, holy shit. You you understand what I'm saying? You're talking about somebody that can be in their pool. And and, and and make you and your whole team have heart attacks at the same time. <laughs> or or put heat on your asses to move your asses. 
So again, we have to allow the process. I can't just go and do it. I have to have approval to do it from daddy. Once I do get approval, mm -mm -mm. yeah. This is real. This is so. What do you real. what do, what do you foresee? What do you foresee in this next month? Any any thoughts on that? Any um, any uh, thing to enlighten us with? And in, in going into this next month, which we are hearing is supposed to be so pivotal for us all. Well, I I do know that there are massive wealth transfers taking place as we speak. Okay, I do know that's for sure. Uh, me and my crew are. Um, in line to receive some of these wealth transfers. And when we do, that's when we will get the chambers. Until then, there won't be no chambers. So that's why we are working day and night to get these transactions done. Okay. And are you working with the Alliance? The Alliance worked for me. Uh-huh. Okay. Gotcha. Do I look oh. like I'm joking, by the way? Joking? No. <laughs> Won't say that. No. <laughs> Dare you say that? No. Just well, in case well, you, you know, know, I, I'm, I'm literally the only one in the entire world that talks like me. Why I can, is that? I can uh, agree with that. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. Because yeah. you know, you know why that is. Is because what I'm telling everybody is is the truth. Like, like. Daddy convinced me that this is my job. Daddy convinced me that I'm who I say I am. Daddy convinced me of my abilities. So do you really think I'm worried about anything or anyone on this planet? No. Mm -hmm. <laughs> mm -hmm. and, and you can call me cocky. You can call me egotistic. None of that shit matters to me. None of it. It's all true. So y'all can, can kiss my royal ass, okay? Well, we, we really appreciate your transparency. Yeah, yeah. Somebody, somebody got to do it, and I volunteered for this shit, so I'm going to make sure it's done. Done, done, and done, done. Okay? Well, done. We appreciate so, that. So one more question, Marty. So are there other people like you? Because I have a, sh I have a shaman friend, and he does an awful lot of off-world stuff. Um, with, uh, um, you know, fighting the demons and all kinds of stuff. Right. Uh, are you aware of those people too? Yeah, yeah, yeah. No matter, no matter how you look at it, there are beings like myself, but not exactly like myself. And mm -hmm. they all work for me because when they, gotta, when they get out of line, who has to put them in place? Mm -hmm. Me. And, and, and if anybody wants to deny it, that's fine, because they will have a come to Jesus moment, if you would, and it'll be me. Okay. <laughs> All righty. That's your phone is not your phone. All right. No. Perfect. Not Perfect. So in the description box below, I'm going to put links for all of us okay. and how to get to the um, Smarty. Uh, groups on Telegram. Any okay. final questions? Can you make it happen tomorrow? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah, please. Hey, God loves a trier. Come hey, on. Well, well, the, only, the only thing I'll say to that is make a wish. <laughs> oh, um, we, we put that out there day and night. I mean, I know. Day and, we, night. and I work on it day and night. Yeah. And, and trust me, daddy knows everything. He knows all of y'all. He knows what y'all yes. want to do before you do it. I'm working tirelessly to get this done. And, and, you know, I, this is real. This is very, very real. This is not, this is not no bullshit. I, it's, I'm, it's irrelevant what people think about what I say and do. It, it don't matter. Um, and I also keep things entertaining. If you guys are following my telegram, I'm posting shit that's happening. I'm doing all types of things just to keep people entertained, laugh. I'm posting screenshots of testimonies. I mean, Dad. Look, even in the Bible, it says, "When when I return, I will be the Comforter." I'm comforting everybody, having everybody chill the fuck out while I finish working. Okay? <laughs> Do you understand? Don't. 
So, so I, I heard that I heard, and you might want to answer this one, Sue. I heard that um, that Jesus was in a ship in Sedona. Uh, I'm I everywhere. think you're... I'm everywhere. That's that's the answer to that. Okay, so you're the, you're kind of the physical embodiment right now of Jesus. Then is that my name? My name was not Jesus. It was never or, or Jesus. Sananda or or Yahweh. Sananda, it, Sananda yeah, yeah. yes, Sananda, Yahweh. Yeshua. I'm I'm literally Yeshua, split. yes. I'm literally split in a hundred pieces right now. All but you're around. a fractal. Is that what we would it be? A fractal, soul fractal of? No, no, no. I'm the one no? and only. I'm okay. the one and only. But what it is is my 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 body here has has been reproduced so that I'm working on multiple things throughout the universe at once. What okay. you're you're gonna you're gonna witness you're gonna witness me talking to individuals on the airwaves and also me posting pictures in my poop. <laughs> okay. Okay. <laughs> Love it. Yep. All right. Well, well when, you when you understand that portal jumping is very real and, you, and, you, and when you understand that people actually do it and teleport and all that stuff, then you're going to see how th this was all cap all possible. And the reason why I say those things is because I don't put a limitations on daddy. I don't put limitations on myself. If he says it's possible, he'll make me do it and I'll do it. So yeah. that's why I say nobody has to convince me of anything because I've seen shit that, that, that's unexplainable to me. And I, 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 like I, <laughs> I do things. Okay, I literally do things. I love healing people. I love giving orders. I love putting heat on people's asses. I love all that. That's my job. <clears throat> gotcha. So just keep up the good work, ladies. I gotta go. I got the intel call. Thank you. Love you Thank guys. You. Thank we you so much. Appreciate. Yeah, we can Thank do it again all. some other time next time. Okay. Thank you very much. There's going to be With more questions. questions after this, for sure. It's just yeah, like yeah, it's into the, if we stick it into the psyche, there's definitely going to be more questions. Yeah, no all worries, right. no worries. Take Appreciate your time, that. write it all down. We'll talk later on. Love you guys. Love okay, you too. Thank you. Thank you. Bye -bye. Thank you. Bye -bye. Take your time.